It's swelteringly hot in Dayton, Tennessee. 1925, the month of July. And a young substitute teacher by the name of John T. Scopes is being prosecuted for the audacity of teaching the evolutionary Darwinian theory to his young students. And he doesn't stand a chance of acquittal. I mean, no God-fearing Tennessee jury of the time would ever have agreed to that. So the trial was staged for publicity and the international and domestic press flocked to Dayton to cover these two great trial lawyers arguing the case of what became to be known as the Monkey Scopes trial. In the right-hand corner for the prosecution, William Jennings Bryan, a fundamentalist, three times candidate for the US presidency. He was known as the great commoner. And in the left corner for the defense, theologian, poet, brilliant civil rights and labor lawyer, Clarence Darrow. Bryant declared hilariously that he was much more impressed by the rock of ages than by the age of rocks. <laughs> Darrow convinced him to take the stand and cross-examined him on his creationist beliefs. And as one observer pointed out, Darrow took him apart like a dollar watch. <laughs>